Yes. We've got the promos, you're holding fire, but you recently got a little bit too close to fire, didn't yeah, you? Yeah. Tell, uh, tell the audience what happened here, in case someone might not have heard. Well, I now have a new kind of half car called the 917. Uh, it was 918 originally, so I burnt one down. I was just filling up with the gas, and uh, a couple of guys came up to me and asked me uh, what type of, what's the horsepower of the engine, and I said, hybrid 210. And as I was about to say 850 in aspiration, it overflowed by about maybe about three, four ounces and just tried to pick up some uh, napkins. There was a kind of a squeegee from the 80s there and it got all dried out. And I thought to myself, I said, man, it was $100,000 uh, additional cost for the upgraded paint. So I ain't going to touch this car with this thing. It's like, uh-oh, back this off. This is a million-dollar car, people. No, not really. Al almost a million Nine ninety-eight, six hundred twenty-three dollars <laughs> 23 There you go. Who's counting? Oh. Uh, and then... Uh, uh, it just caught this fire on, on, right at the gas tank and then it went quickly right under the uh, tires. And the two guys that were talking to me grabbed quickly the, uh, uh, the fire extinguishers. I grabbed the one from inside the uh, passenger seat, which was my first clue that when you have a fire extinguisher on your passenger side floor, it might be your first guess. Uh, but, uh, and you know, we put it, we, we unloaded the uh, fire extinguishers on the car and it put it out for about two seconds, but it was an electrical fire because of the hybrid. It went right back up again. So it was really terrifying, 12 minutes of the scares of my life. And thank God for the uh, great job of the police and the Caledon Fire Department because no one was injured. And uh, like I had some slight sunburn on my right side, but that's okay. Yeah, that's very scary. <laughs> We're glad you're here.